why we need to create these folders um, input and output very important it's not um, something that is fly by night do whatever you want this is the way you have to do it and so here are my aromatherapy folders you need one input and these are going to be everything that you're going to use in the software has to be in the input so if I use something called the random keywords one dot txt it has to be placed in this input folder and I have to that's not what I meant to do I have to make sure that I have exactly copied and pasted the exact not capital R or capital K or all caps or uh, R dot keywords one or R random keywords dot text. No, it has to be exactly this. This one has to be exactly that. Keywords has to be exactly that. And this I'll definitely copy because that has become very complicated there. But you copy and paste that into wherever you're going to use it in your template so I hope I made that clear enough um, so that's my input folder and guess what I didn't have yet was my output folder so I'm gonna I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna that's a word you know uh, put my output folder there and then these don't matter so much other than they are here because they're all part of this one project which I said in the beginning you need to keep them organized <laughs> because you'll spend a lot more time later organizing them from all over your files and folders. Okay, so um, you got your keywords, you got your images, you have... Oh, and so what I ended up doing while um, uh, in between recordings was I did go into Scrapebox and I uh, just got how many keywords I wish I'd counted them but there turned out to be quite a few considering that I didn't let it run for very long at all so let me see whether that's my actual keywords that I got from Scrapebox and if I put it into Notepad++ yikes really I didn't think I got that many well so what happens here is that uh, from the webinar that Bryant and Patrick and Nevin did you will have as many pages for your website and by website I mean what the bucket that you create in Amazon s3 don't let those words scare you I'll go over that real quick in an easy way um, the number of keywords you have is the number of pages that you will build and I'm not sure I want to build 15,000 that just seems like hugely excessive to me so darn it I may have to create a second project create uh, cut this in half and let me just do that but you don't have to watch because it's boring okay well that was exciting so I divided it into approximately half not quite 79.81 versus 78 something 77.80 good enough I called it in my folder it's in the same folder uh, keywords and keywords 2 keywords 2 I'll do a second run um, in Amazon with another bucket but because I'm only using the file name keywords 2 it will never access keywords 1 and so I can run it again with this here uh, I can um, I need an images folder now that I think about it um, <clears throat> and I can still use that and I can still use these um, okay so talking about random keywords um, I'll come. I'll talk about it when I come across it. But it's it's um, in a, it's something I input in the 
um, tags, I believe, but um, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. And so did I get everything? I have my images. I can close that. <coughs> Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh, okay, and then I have my images. I've cre yeah, yeah, I didn't mean to do that. Um, well, forget that's there. And the output folder, I created that. Now, you, you notice that I renamed this Traffic Factory. I had it Keyword Factory in the first two videos. And um, so I'm not recreating it just for that. Uh, in YouTube, I might um, put a um, note up there saying, I meant traffic factory. And so here we go. Don't need indexer just yet. Um, so we're going to site generator. We're going to start with content. Guess what the input directory is going to be? Hello desktop, aromatherapy, input, open. That's my input. I could actually name this anything, but that's what I've named it. That's where all the files are. And this I'm going to name output. And that's where that will be. The site template is going to be probably this is correct Skype I think that's the one that's the one and that's the one um, so I'm gonna upload it I'm gonna open I mean oh forgot to click on it all right so that's the modern business and just use that modern business I mean you know let's not make it any more complicated uh, this is just to get you get started, and this is a, ver a favorite uh, template. It works. Uh, if you're redirecting to, say, a ClickBank offer, it doesn't matter uh, what it looks like, but it does have some elements that Google likes. Let me show you something that I did, and you're going, uh-oh. Don't worry, the webcam's not on. I, do -do -do -do. Oh, I have to go through that whole darn path again. I assume that's Russian or something. All right, so there's the template that uh, the modern business template. Do you ever want to? I mean, I did this. You may not want to, but it is doable. So this is in Chrome, and you can't see all of it, um, you know, because my um, recording screen doesn't cover everything. But those pictures that you see at the top here remember how in Brian's webinar where there was always kittens well in my previous project I wanted airplanes I love planes and so what I did was you come about halfway down the page and you can change this to this value. I looked it up for Lorem Flicker. He actually gives very clear instructions on how to change your keyword and I forget what 900 and 300 is. This may be like max size minimum size or something like that. I really don't know. I don't know what random equals one is and I'm too lazy to look it up right now. But how did I change that you ask? I copied control A Control or copy notepad <laughs> new paste and then I um, edited this I changed it according to the values at lormflicker.com and um, I think this said kitty cats or something like that and I changed it to airplane 
and maybe some of these other values depending okay you twisted my arm let's look it up and see what those values are uh, so anyway I um, saved it save 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 and of course I saved it to wherever that long path was to the Skype files and to the business template and there it is if I were you I wouldn't fork around too much with other stuff in that template but that was fairly easy to fix and as you can see there's my airplane which I wanted so I'm gonna go pause and go quickly to Lorem Flicker and see whether it works or I'm sorry wh uh, whether I can find the directions real quick okay so the 900 and 300 that I had was uh, 900 wide by 300 tall because <laughs> I guess I wanted a long long picture and then the random equals one here we go uh, you, you by adding a meaningless query string to the URL so for example random equals one random equals two eh, I just put random equals one because it sounded good and to tell you the truth I have no idea what it means so I'm pretty sure it's just fine and so that's it I opened that up and saved it in notepad plus plus saved it back to the template file and we're all ready to go now this the random thing um, that you saw the random keyword one random keyword two I went to to random.org and I put in those keywords from the Google Keyword Tool Planner, pardon me, and then I hit um, randomize, I think, and then I copied that and named it, and then I said again, I copied again, and then again, and it does say I have land and ra randomized this list three times, so yay on that. All right, so we're ready to go with, finally, I think, I have my template. Oh, except, shoot. I do need to change that template again if I want some other image other than airplanes, don't I? Okay, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm ready to save it, but um, I went and looked uh, how to do that. Um, I wanted aromatherapy and candle, or candle, I mean. Uh, and so it is aromatherapy, comma, candle. No space, apparently, between the comma, and I don't know if it matters. So I go by exactly by the example until I know better. And I changed it to 600 by 300 because I could even do 400, 500 by 300 because 900 by 300 seems kind of excessive don't you think yeah I do and then I'll just save that and it's gonna save to that template that I'm gonna use I'm gonna use where did I learn to talk like this okay and so there's the template and I saved it so I don't need to worry about it that anymore aromatherapy what are some good keywords um, that I can use to name my website and this is like picking a domain name except virtually anything is available so keywords 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 think the best domain in the world uh, mm -hmm, that might be okay if I wanted to do um, all right you can hear the wheels in my brain turning so I'm gonna pause <laughs> Until I decide what to uh, pick. All right, but all right. Um, without going into major keyword research, I am going to do aromatherapy essential oils, and so that's what we're going to do. It's going to be I had to look that up, but. Because I don't remember what I did before, but it is this, like a, and like an actual name. All right, so the title 
is going to be the title of the pages is going to be my keywords and do I have a it has to come from input and since I'm building the first set of pages from keyword te keywords dot text that's what I will put keywords dot text okay now you're going to want to build this meta content and apparently this is going to be seen in search which is you know your whole point is that you will be seen hang on I got a cough and so what I did was I have kind of this generic um, thing that I will show you did I copy that control C and so um, if you have spin rewriter or so, I'm sure there's something online that unspin something and so I unspun my last one and this is not it you know what this needs to go in my input folder how could I have forgotten and I know I would have remembered later but let's remember it now okay we're gonna need that text and I pause again in key in in Spin Rewriter, I took a basic template, um, for instance, my airplane one, and I changed, um, you know, airplane to aromatherapy or essential oils or, you know, whatever, and, um, and came up with this. It's random enough, and so, <laughs> and I saved it to uh, the aromatherapy folder, but not the input folder necessarily because it's um, I'm just going to copy and paste that sentence in here I am so glad I opened it up and looked at it otherwise I would have been talking about airplanes instead of aromatherapy alright and so moving on from that I uh, this is the uh, uh, template HTML content template and I have that I hope I kept it yes come on do, 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 do. there HTML traffic factory I could do that and that might actually work that's a nice long one I think I will There are several templates, as you can see. I'll copy that. Here's a final template. <laughs> um, yeah, I had copied several. I think some people had uh, given ideas of templates, and um, or I could just keep this. just want to make sure that it's not going to say anything about airplanes in here. I think I'll just keep that actually. There's no need to change it. No need to add to the confusion. And I, well, so far we've gotten all that filled out. Structure, I'm going to use categories. Um, <clears throat> I don't know. I think I'll use one of my random keyword things just because. And like I said, you need to... I'll use number three. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> it's making me click on it, isn't it? Okay. Those are my categories. They are also some keywords, which you think that's good or bad. It's very good. Um, and then the tags. Um, tags will be spun and use three per post. And so what's going to happen here? Oh, I'm so sorry. That would have been a major mistake, too. See, I'm learning as you are. I'm going to put in random keyword one I know what it says hang on and two 
and three. Everything is random keywords. It is plural. One, two, three. <coughs> uh, enable interlinking. And this is um, what it shows at the bottom. Next, it'll show this is part of the spin. So it's going to show like an arrow thingy to the right. And if you, I think this should be to the left personally but you know what we'll look at it and see um, and enable random links posting that's a yes I don't want it from the same category enable silo structure and all that says is up one level and home um, schema markup I'm going to do a video on that some other time um, and then redirect I want guess what I need to pick an offer. Dear Gussie, that was <laughs> well, I got distracted halfway through, but um, I finally <laughs> found an aromatherapy affiliate program uh, through Share Sale, and so we're finally and so we're going to click uh, for the redirect redirection on page load. And I'm going to paste that. Let's see what that advanced is. Nah. No thanks. Blank referrer. Mm. No. Am I ready to go? I think I am. All right. Well, so when you deploy at first, you start. I'm going to start. Oh. Boo. Titles. Oh, I had titles in the text. Oops. Okay. Well, good learning experience. Apparently in here somewhere I have titles. Yeah, I jumped the gun on that. And so I have to, I believe, I'm not going to erase it just yet, but I am going to insert and this is your insert image next okay live and learn my dears live and learn I had my images folder um, not in my input directory and that is where it's supposed to go and so I'm uh, just making sure that's <laughs> that that is actually where I have it and so it is now there and I shall I shall I shall go to the HTML editor Oh, you know, um, this will be a problem, too, because I don't have anything called titles text, but I can sure as fat make them, so um, I will do that later. Why is this not allowing me? Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I don't know where... Oh, just because I needed to click into it. Image insert. Next. And there it is. It's image. And my alt text is going to be... Oh, I tell you what I'll do. I'll take this and open it up in Word. And I think there's probably an online program that will also do this. But... Um, paste. So what I want to do is... Control, no, not Control A, sorry. Control H, and I want to re replace each paragraph with a bar. And that has now spun 661 random. I hope that's not too many. 
and then of course I need squiggly lines at the back and squiggly line at the front. Control A, Control C. Oh Lord, I hope that's not too many. Control V. Well, it didn't blow up yet. So, next thing is this text file that we were looking at earlier where I had the random sizes spun and the random other sizes spun. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I hope I didn't overdo it. I doubt it. But you never know. And then I think that um, I think you just close this and believe I'm right. Let me find my images and then I'll know for sure. To image folder, popular essential. There we go. So I'm so sorry for keeping you like that. However, there was one more thing, if you recall, that I needed to check and change. And we're going to do any other time if I double click it opens that up and is annoying but now when I want it to uh, if you recall I have to go into the editor HTML editor and change titles to find and replace is actually what I want to do I wonder if it'll allow me and it doesn't have a control F e oh it does yay um, I want to find the titles and now I'm gonna to have to find it actually <laughs> uh, darn it ding, 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 ding. oh my gosh how much did I yeah that was the alt text titles one titles two and titles three is what I need to do replace all 16 replacements titles two okay I have to be above it. In other words, it's not like Word where it circles to the top until it's done finding all of them. It is like Notepad where you have to start at the top and it only goes down. So that's good. Eh, learn something new every day. Okay. All right. So I know that this, this is really long and boring due to my mistakes. However, once you see my mistakes, hopefully you don't make the same mistakes. And remember what I had said about um, all of these things have to be um, spot on accurate and, um, and that's uh, what all this actually came down to was um, I got a little careless there and when you um, call support or email support with uh, a question um, a lot of times it's because a mistake was made. So here we go. We just close that out. I want to see random keywords. That's what I want to see. I may not see them depending on where they are. Wow, that's a lot of spun. <laughs> okay, random keywords is there. <laughs> Now we were ready to deploy, I hope. Cross your fingers and your toes. We're going to do dummy uploader first. Well, that didn't bode well. Oh, here we go. Yeah, creating almost 8,000 pages. Phew, that scared me for a sec. 
I will pause because that's again like watching paint dry. So uh, while this is um, generating content, I um, wanted to say that you know I chose aromatherapy uh, just randomly. I was looking at a candle and I was trying to find just a random thing to promote. Didn't really matter. Now that I think about it, I should have uh, looked at my television and um, promoted you know um, a Sony 56 inch. TV, but Super Bowl's over, so no one's going to care about that until, oh, Winter Olympics, hello. <laughs> anyway, I'm promoting aromatherapy, and then I had to find a uh, program to promote, and uh, ClickBank failed me there. Um, their numbers were not good. Share a sale, um, I'd heard some things about them that um, maybe were not too good, but you know, uh, who knows. Uh, I do know that I am a wholesaler for w one of the uh, companies <laughs> on their affiliate list and I had to apply for their affiliate program and um, the wholesale thing is going to be through um, well was another project of mine which kind of put, got put by the side due to MoFo um, <laughs> um, you know basically you can look at anything and you'll find something um, to promote in it if you look hard enough and uh, what I ended up promoting was a company you know that had some good numbers who knows whether I'll make any profit but um, to tell you the truth I didn't really expend anything other than an afternoon and part of what time is it part of an evening hope it's not bedtime um, just coming up with something random. If I can do random, then I can do a million randoms, right? I mean, you know, I thought that Nevin was crazy when he was talking about why he runs three, uploads three websites at a time, and I'm like, why? Because <laughs> I'm used to WordPress. You know, you, you pick a domain, and you pick a theme, and you got to get content, and plugins, and this, that, and the other, and um, here you don't. I'm building a 8,000 page website right here and um, will be hopefully making a penny or two. Okay, so we're almost done here. Then we run it for good and so I am going to actually stop this video and go <laughs> create another one for you because this is getting quite long. Alright, bye-bye.